Today it's all about the short ribs. Now I've got this beautiful rack of beef short ribs here from Philip Warren Butchers. Now if you haven't checked out Philip Warren Butchers yet, what are you waiting for? This is a beautiful cut of ribs. They've been dry specifically for the Ledbury restaurant, but they also sell these type of cuts on their website under a section called On The Pass, where you get all sorts of other goodies that are to the spec of certain restaurants around London and other areas. And I just know from the smell of these, they're gonna be beautiful. Now, because it's such a beautiful cut of meat, we're not going to do a lot to this. I'm going to trim a little bit of this fat off of the top and then I'm just going to stick a little bit of mustard on it as a binder and we're just going to get these coated with a rub that's literally just um, about 65, 35 pepper to salt. So let's crack on, trim them up, get some mustard on them and get that salt and pepper on them. And that's it, that is all the trimming I'm gonna to do to these. Now the reason I've taken off that top layer of fat is because just under that layer of fat is a bit of really thick silver skin. We don't want that on there because the rub is gonna to stick to that. We're gonna end up taking it out at the end of the cook. You can see here, there's already some beautiful marbling running through these short ribs. So I'm really excited about these. There's plenty of fat content in there to keep them nice and moist. So that's why we've removed that fat and that silver skin. So now it's time to stick a bit of mustard on, get some salt and pepper on them. And there we go, it was that easy. I mean, that was what, five minutes prep work, just taking that skin off, sticking a little bit of mustard on there and getting some salt and pepper on there. Now, there is a membrane on the bones underneath here. With pork ribs, yes, I would remove that membrane. With beef ribs, I find you don't need to. I mean, this is gonna help them keep their form. It's gonna help them stay together and it's gonna help us slide that bone out at the end when these are done. Um, so that's gonna stay there. You can score it if you want, you can remove it if you want. My preference is to just keep that on there. So as you see there, salt and pepper on there. We've got a little bit of mustard on there. These are now ready for the smoker. Now I've got a new addition in the shack and it's the Kamado Joe Kettle Joe. Now normally I would christen a new barbecue with some chicken or something, but I'm going straight in at the deep end. I'm going to see how it handles these short ribs using a slow roller attachment. So I've got it loaded up with some charcoal. We've lit the charcoal, got a couple of chunks of oak in there for the smoke. I've put the slow roller into place. We've opened up the vents to bring it up to temperature. I'm going to be cooking these at around about 140 to 150 Celsius today. I'm going to use my Thermapen smoke just to keep an eye on the temperature. So I'm going to have one of the probes attached to the grill grate to give me my pit temperature. One of the probes in the meat that's going to give me the meat temperature. And these are going to sit in there for about three hours and then we come out, see how we're doing with the bark and then we're ready to wrap them up, put them back in until they're done. Now we know when they're done because the Thermapen probe will just probe in through those bones like butter with no resistance whatsoever. Internal temperature is likely to be between 94 and 96 degrees. So like I said, three hours of smoke, then we're gonna wrap, and then we check them for tenderness. The next time you see me, these will be done, and hopefully they will be juicy, beefy, beautiful ribs. So I'll see you then. Yes, here we are guys. Now these have taken around about four and a half hours in the Kamado Joe Kettle Joe, and they've been resting for about an hour. Now, I'm pretty impressed with the Kamado Joe Kettle Joe, to be honest with you. The fuel consumption has been pretty good. Um, single load of charcoal for nearly five hours at between 140 and 150 Celsius, and there's still a fair amount of charcoal left in there, so I'm pretty impressed with that. Um, as you saw, I did put a um, tray of water into the barbecue, just uh, because it's the first time using it. Um, if you're smoking a kettle barbecue, I, I would normally put a tray of water in there just to keep uh, a bit of moisture in there. We've got a nice bark on here. It's uh, nice and soft, as you've seen, when I've probed it with a thermo pen, and you can see there just how soft this is. So I can't wait any longer. Let's just have a slice in and see exactly how we've done. But these smell oh, absolutely incredible. So let's slice in and take a look. Really, really tender. Oh, I've got to say, we have an absolute winner there. 
got a beautiful smoke ring. It has to be said, a really, really well pronounced smoke ring on there. These are nice and juicy. They're nice and soft. They smell delicious. I am really impressed with that. So, um, short ribs from Philip Warren Butchers on the pass. Check them out. Now, these were cooked on the Kamado Joe Kettle Joe. It's cooked them absolutely perfectly, to be honest. So, really, really impressed with the Kamado Joe Kettle. Really impressed with these ribs. I cannot wait to dig in. I'll see you again soon.